Hello everyone, hope that you are well. Uh, my name is Daniel Pyatt and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, in this video clip uh, we're going to look at uh, an extract from a seminar that I was fortunate enough to do recently uh, with Seishin Karate Club in Sheffield. Big thank you to them for hosting the event. Uh, and the purpose of the seminar was focusing on uh, Neiwaza uh, exercises, groundwork, uh, and, and very much introducing some basic concepts in that. Um, so this clip uh, is actually from the very start of uh, the seminar, of one of the first exercises that we did where we looked at how we move on the ground. Uh, recently I did a video series looking at uh, groundwork exercises you can do at home and, and sort of explaining those in, in some degree of detail. Uh, and I'll put links to uh, that, that video series in the description below. Um, but obviously that was me demonstrating the technique solo. So what this clip will do is it will provide some context uh, to those exercises. So uh, there's three uh, clips that you're going to see. First, a, a basic explanation at, at the very start of the seminar in terms of, uh, of how our sort of structured approach to Nawaza works um, and, and the areas we were going to focus on. Uh, second, a, a basic explanation to some of the movements that you will recognise and will see. Uh, and then the third section will then show those in context uh, with a partner uh, demonstrating how they would look um, uh, if you were uh, applying them in, in live drill scenarios. Uh, so I hope you find it useful and as always if you've got any questions please feel free to put them in the comments below and without further ado let's get into the clip. Okay. Uh, the first phase which we're going to start with in a minute is hen which just means to, the ability to change specifically change position on the floor. In essence it's learned, the first thing you've got to do is learn to move on the floor. Okay. Uh, the second thing is you've actually got to learn the positions Okay, so all the different various holding techniques. So everything that I do comes very much from a Japanese Jiu-Jitsu and Judo perspective, uh, which obviously I incorporate into my cross Jiu-Jitsu. Uh, and so it's focused around Osai Komiwaza, which are pin-down techniques. The third step, which is where we're going to spend the vast majority of our time, is you've got to learn to escape those positions. If you can't do that, then ground fighting doesn't last very long. Uh, it becomes really boring, quite dull, because you're just stuck in the same position. So you've got to turn it into that game of chess where you can constantly keep switching so you can dictate where the rest of the implication goes. So the third stage is uh, nige, okay, so N-I-G-E, nige. So we're going to look at nige no kata, which is a kata that I use with my students, uh, and it basically goes through all of the fundamental escapes, okay. And then on top of that, we'll layer the next stages. So the next the stage is seme, which is the ability to attack. Once you're in those positions, then you can form effective attacks. Just trying to attack for the sake of it is, is not going to get you anywhere in ground fighting. So there is the old adage, position before submission. It's not technically the best answer to that. Uh, you need position and then control and then submission. If you can't control your opponent trying to get to submit, you're just going to lose. The moment you go for the attack, you're going to lose it straight away. Then after that, you've then got building up combinations, you've got counters, and then you've got strategy, okay, which will obviously take a long time to do. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to work through those stages initially. We're going to sort of spend the first half focusing very generally on general principles. Okay? And then what we'll try and do is put it into a format that you can take little bits of it and just integrate it into what you do already. Okay? And we'll focus as well. The things I'm going to prioritise are what I call high percentage techniques. Okay? Uh, the ones that are most likely to work for you and most likely to get you out of trouble. Okay? Uh, there's lots of we, you know, the wonderful techniques like triangles, I love triangles. We're not going to master that in four, in four hours, so we're not going to attempt to. Okay? But if you've got questions about those kind of techniques, please do us. Okay? We're going to start in this position, okay? which is Shiho the Kame. Shiho is four uh, points on the floor. Uh, if I'm doing this upside down, okay? kind of like this, okay? so just think about the position of my elbows and my knees. We do this in both directions, so this is going to be our starting point. Uh, a couple of things to make sure that your hips don't come forward, keep nice and low, keep your elbows in. Uh, I'm going to just do some simple things first, so just so you can see. Uh, we're going to go left foot out, okay? And what I want you to do is make sure your foot is flat and your toes are pointing up towards your head and your foot slightly forward. This is no good because if my opponent pulls me, I'll fall quickly to the floor. So, foot always towards my head, keep my elbows down, keep my body down. So, try not to come up at any point when you're doing this. Okay. Right foot, okay. Both feet back, we're going to go on our toes, but keep our hips off the floor, so no resting quite yet. We're not doing enough for that, so into this position. And if I tell you to swivel, I'm not being really rude, right? What I want you to do is I want you to take your right leg through and pass it underneath your body, okay? I'll do that again slowly. So I'll take my right leg, I turn, I bring it underneath my other leg, and I'm going to go as far through as I can to that corner. And then if I say swivel again, we go to the other side. Okay, 
one action. If you can't do that, it's fine. I'm going to step back and then step through. Okay? We'll just look at those first. So find a position, everyone facing this way. Make sure you've got some space. Okay, and drop down into your comments. Uh, everyone should be, everybody from a metre forward, because the guys at the back are going to go off the max in a second. You need space going. Good. Okay, so move first. I'll do the commands in English, so it's nice and easy. Left foot out. Okay, make sure your foot's flat, make sure it's not back, make sure it's forward. Bring your foot forward so it's more towards your head. That's it. In. Right foot out. Good. Again, keep it nice and forward towards your head. So keep it nice and forward towards your body. In. Good. Step foot out. So the first. In. Right foot out. Good. Try and keep your hips really, really low. Your back foot, stay on your toes or keep it completely flat. Don't kind of lift up. Okay. In. Okay, now do be careful with this next one because of the space we've got. But I want you to put both feet back. But be mindful you don't kick the person behind you. So both feet back. You might now need to adjust your position slightly. Good, so we're gonna swivel. So you're gonna take your right leg and you're gonna pass it through to this corner. So swivel. Good. The reason we use this position so much is it gives you a really big base, which is really important, okay? Swivel again. Good. And just like before, try and get your feet, I know it's difficult space, but try and get your feet up to this corner. So your foot, okay? Should be like up here somewhere, okay? Not like both feet pointing that direction. Okay, and again, swivel. Good, now keep your heads down. Swivel. Good, both feet back. In. So back to the Left foot out. Right, so me and Nye have got into a fight. Right, he looked at me funny. Right, okay. Um, so, and I'm now in this position, okay? So I'm over Nye's body, okay? Now, obviously, Nye. He's not going to want to leave me here. He's going to try and get up. Now, I'm not going to teach you anything to do in particular. You can try and bridge if you want. But if Nye's going to try and rock me over, he's going to be moving. He's not going to be still. So well, I would say, if you're doing ground fight for the first time, or if you've done a little bit, there's always two rules I give my students first. The first thing I tell them to do, they have to spend the first year getting those two rules ingrained into their head. And those rules are really simple. Don't stop moving. Okay? And don't give your opponent your back. Okay, so, because the biggest thing as a beginner you'll do is you'll give your opponent your back and that's suicide. You don't want to do that. But don't stop moving. So it doesn't have to be big movements, little movements, irritating movements, okay? That's good, okay? Because we're going to create space for that. But, just an example. So if you do the left bridge that we just talked about. So, Nye really tries to bridge and he first put me forward. So I can obviously use my hand to post out, which is one thing. But, bridge again. So I've just gone to the right for out position, okay? He tries to bridge me the other way. Can do the same thing, okay? He tries to bridge me back. I might want to change my position now, so I come to the swivel position, okay? He just just keep moving around for a little bit, okay? So I can change both feet back in, left foot out, right foot out. I can come back over, okay? Obviously, what so he's doing in the bottom position is the other two movements we did. So he's trying to bridge potentially, and then in a minute he'll be trying to shrimp. Does that make sense? So by using those positions, the reason I want to be able to use my legs to do that, so he tries to bridge me off, yes, I can post in my hand, that's fine. And I will do that if it's going to protect me from falling. But it's better for me to be able to use my legs, so my hands are free to be able to do other things. Okay, I can attack him more effectively with my arms from this position than I can with my legs. Does that make sense? Hi. Good. So what I want you to do is grab a partner. Okay, we're only going to do um, 30 seconds of this before we swap. And one of you is going to be in nice position, one of you is going to be in mind position. The person in mind position is going to do what we've just done, okay? Nye's job is really simple. He's going to stand up. His job is to be annoying. I'm not worried about technique, I just want him to keep moving. And what I have to do is I have to just cycle through the feet positions that we've just done, okay? Not in any particular order. You might get it wrong, you might get it right. If he manages to roll me over, fine, start again. I've obviously missed my foot position, okay? So his job is to get up, move around as much as you want. And my job is just to try and counter, and I can move, I can come around the side of his body, I can come around the top of his head, keep where it goes, that's it, come back again. But my job is just to move through those positions initially, just keep my weight down, and his job is to just get me off, okay? okay. We're only going to do 30. So I hope you found that useful uh, and I hope that clip contextualised some of the movements we looked at in the previous video. Uh, I will be sharing a few more clips from this seminar, um, so uh, look out for those. Um, I will put them uh, links in the descriptions below as soon as they are released. 
Uh, and as always, if you like this video, please feel free to subscribe to uh, the rest of our channel to get more videos just like it. Uh, you can do that by clicking the icon in the bottom right hand corner, uh, or you can see more of our videos by clicking the links here and here. Uh, as always, uh, take care, stay safe, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.